Google glasses, cameras that clip onto your shirt, headbands that monitor your brain waves. This is my brain. This is my brain on iPad. What's in fashion? Technology. I, I think what's happened is that sensors and computing power and connectivity has gotten to a point where it's cheap enough and small enough that you can put it into lots of different things. For example, Raman's company Jawbone makes a bracelet they call the Up. It syncs to an app to track your health from how well you're sleeping to how active you are. Jawbone Up and other devices like it are part of what's known as the quantified self movement, using tech attached to your body to tell what's going on inside of it. We don't really know that much about why did we sleep a certain way, why do we feel a certain way, how much do we actually move, how that all relates to each other. Another wearable item, a brainwave tracking headband called Muse. It syncs with games that test how well you're focusing and how relaxed you are. When you're able to actually track or sense your brain activity, you can then do things to improve it. You can do exercises to improve your cognitive functioning and decrease your stress. The developer envisions a very different use case for this kind of technology. Ultimately, in the future, we'll be able to play games and control appliances in our environment using only our mind. Some wearable tech tracks your life without tracking your health, like the Mimoto camera. In the future, we're all going to be walking around with smartphone-connected clothing. Yeah, it's true. I mean, just with uh, their smartphones are like a cyborg device and adding extra devices to your own, to yourself, it's, it's uh, like a cyborg uh, way, of, a way of life. The camera feels a bit James Bond. It's been coded to your palm print, so only you can fire it. But the company points out it's not exactly hidden. If you want to spy on someone, they say there are better tools. One entrepreneur is putting the wearable technology inside your clothing. What we thought to do is embed it in the items that you may lose or left behind or those really important items. As you walk away, um, this is your proximity meter and it will um, flash green if you're close and then it will go into yellow and orange and then red and then eventually beep if you've walked too far away. Still, most of these have yet to become household names. Google Glass, which would put smartphone capabilities in your line of vision, aren't on the market yet. Analysts say that's the kind of product that would make wearable tech universal. The number one thing that would move wearables from niche to mainstream is backing of a major consumer platform, namely Apple and Google. If either of those companies execute well, they could define the market around their product. Thank you so much. Now, here's what...